Hello everyone, this is Christina from Two Howley Monkeys and with today's video we're going to show you how to use a seam ripper. Okay, so I have here uh, two pieces of fabric that I have sewn together uh, here with a stitch. I, uh, to lock the stitch in, I did a back stitch on the beginning and at the end. Here's a seam ripper I will be using for the demonstration. Uh, this is an ergonomics uh, seam ripper. It's for comfort grip and uh, easy to hold and such. Very comfortable. I like this is one of my favorites to use. But they have different handles and such that you can choose from. from very simple to, to fancier. Um, the seam ripper, the tip here, has three parts to it that I want to point out to you. The first part here is the long pointed end. And this is the point that you will be pushing under the seam. Uh, under the stitch I'm, and um, you don't cut with that tip so when you push under the stitch you don't pull to cut it on the edge there is no sharp edge on there all you'd be doing is pulling the stitches and distorting them and you don't want to do that because that can damage the fabric so the second part of the tip is this little curve in here that the tip the sharp point goes down and it curves and begins to go up that little part there is what cuts the thread. That's the sharp edge. And um, so what you'd be doing is you would be pushing the tip under the stitch and pushing it to that sharp edge there. And that is what would cut the stitch. The third part of the tip is this little uh, point, this short point here that goes up and there's a little ball there. And that's just to uh, protect you. Uh, so that you don't get hurt so much with this. Okay, so to use the seam ripper uh, and to uh, cut the stitches, you first want to start with your back stitch uh, that you began with or ended with. If you have that, then you need to cut those stitches first. This here, uh, for this sample, this is the top side, this is the bottom side, so this is the bobbin thread down here and this is the top thread. So I start and I cut the back stitch. You see how I'm just pushing it up against. Now um, the stitch is because I used a larger uh, stitch here. Um, I will be, I can cut it probably every four stitches um, and be fine with it. Uh, normally with the regular size stitches I cut between, uh, it, like every three stitches is about what I do. Uh, if your stitches are smaller, you may want to do every other one. You may have to do every one. So you're holding it to it on its side, and you're letting the sharp point lay on its side there, and you're just the flat side, and you're just moving it along. Now you can see here's your cut stitches, that's your top stitches, and then this is your bottom. And then what you do is you can grab the bottom stitch here. You don't want to pull hard. If you have to pull hard, then you need to cut the thread. And sometimes it will catch. That happens. It's much easier to cut the top thread and pull the bobbin thread, the bottom thread, than it is to pull the top thread. So, let's see, yeah, that's about as far as I cut it. So then you have these loose threads here. There are different ways uh, that you can get those. Um, one, you can use your lint roller and you can get them. You can take some tape, wrap it around your finger, and then grab them that way. I have with this seam ripper um, a little, the end here, and what this does is it's a little soft rubber uh, tip, and it grabs the, the threads also. 
that's another reason why I like this seam ripper. But not all seam rippers have that. This one just happens to have that. <clears throat> now, some people, um, they like to uh, open up. Let me get it here. They like to open up their uh, fabric and cut like this. You can do it this way or this way. And um, they like to cut these stitches like this and just pull them out. Or they would actually stick their seam ripper in and proceed to cut. I wanted to bring this to your attention because you doing that you're sticking in the sharp tip, the pointy tip of uh, your seam ripper in between your fabrics and pushing the fabric up against the part that cuts. That very easily, this can poke through your fabric and that will cut your fabric and make a big old hole in your fabric. And then, you know, your pattern is piece of junk or fabric scrap because you have a hole there where a seam should be. I have also seen other people um, open it up like this, take the rubber side and put it in and then push through the seams and cut the seams that way. That's better than doing it this way. However, once again, you can cut a big gash into your fabric and why take that chance when you can just very easily uh, cut your stitches. Just takes a minute to cut your stitches and uh, pull that thread and you know that you're not going to uh, be putting a hole into your fabric. You want to treat your fabric gentle. Uh, you don't want to be pulling those threads uh, because and you want to also be careful to not have the tip catch the threads of the fabric because you're going to cut that fa that thread and then you're going to cause a hole in your fabric. So if you stick to it like how we said, you lay the tip flat on the flat edge, push under, push through. You do that and then those threads just come right up. So I hope this video helped you to understand how to use a seam ripper and you can subscribe to our YouTube channel uh, so you can stay updated on our latest videos. We will be putting videos out uh, weekly. You could also visit our website at twohowlingmonkeys.com. Thank you everyone for watching. Have a wonderful day.